Hi everyone, in this video I'll be installing Endeavor OS on a separate disk without using a USB drive or a DVD. Endeavor OS is an Arch Linux distribution with a gentler learning curve than Arch, and when installing it on another disk, it's great if you want to keep things separate from Windows. So to get started, I'm going to download Endeavor OS, going to EndeavorOS.com, and then scrolling down, and look for your country, and then download the ISO. And I'm going to go into my Downloads folder, and then select the ISO file, and then hit Enter or right-click and mount. Open. All right, and we see the image has been mounted. And then now I'm going to open up Disk Management. Start Disk Management. And in Disk Management, we'll see my disks and partitions. And I have here on my first disk here, disk 0. It's about 477 gigabytes. It's my SSD drive, and it's where I have Windows installed. And then on my second disk here, disk 1, it's 224 gigabytes. It's my NVMe drive, and it's just a simple data drive, and it's where I'm going to be installing Endeavor OS. And I don't need to use the entire drive. I can just use the existing free space that I have on it. So I have here 164 gigabytes available on my D drive here, so more than enough free space. And I don't need to shrink the drive here, as I can do it in the Endeavor OS installer. And then here is my virtual drive where I mounted the ISO file. So when it's mounted, it's only seen here in Windows. So in order to boot from it, I'll need to create a new partition so that the BIOS can see it and boot from it. So I'll create a new partition on it on my first drive here. And then after I'm done installing Endeavor OS, I'll remove it. So selecting the C drive, right click, shrink volume. And the size for this new volume. So it's using about 2.93 gigabytes. So I'll do 3000 megabytes. Shrink. And there's my unallocated space. Right click, new simple volume. Next, next, next. And then the file system will be FAT32. And for the volume label, I'm going to be labeling it as the same name. So EOS underscore 202503. If I do not call it the same name, then it won't find it correctly. And if it can't find it correctly, it won't start. It can be fixed in the shell, but to make it easier, just name it the same here, EOS 2025.03. Next, finish. And going back into Explorer, I'm going to copy everything from the E drive, go into my new F drive, and paste. All right, it's copied everything over. Going back into disk management. Now my F drive here, it's seen as a healthy basic data partition and your BIOS should be able to boot from it. But if not, it may need to be seen as an EFI system partition. So I'm gonna set it up as an EFI system partition. I'm going to open up disk part, start disk part, run as administrator, yes, and type in list disk. And so it's on disk zero, select disk zero, and then list my partitions, list part. And so it's partition number five, the 3000 megabyte partition. So select partition five, and then I'm gonna type in help set ID, and then type in set ID equals, and then I'm gonna scroll up. Look for the EFI system partition value in hex, copy it, and paste, enter. All right, we see that it has been successfully set. And we see here in disk management, it's been set as well. And now I'm gonna reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. In your BIOS, ensure that secure boot is disabled. And if you have fast boot, disable it as well. And now I'm gonna do a one-time boot into the installation partition. It's labeled as UFI OS. And how I can confirm that, go back into Windows, open up a command prompt as administrator, Type in bcd edit space forward slash enum space firmware. And at the bottom, you can see that there's device partition F, the F drive that was created, and the description UFI OS. So I'm going to select it. All right, it's booted from my partition, and we see here the Endeavor OS boot menu. And then so I'm going to select the first option, Endeavor OS. Or if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, select the second option.
All right, it started up and I get the welcome screen. So I'm going to start the installer and it's asking to choose the installation method. I'm going to be choosing online to ensure my system is up to date online. All right, and it welcomes you to the installer and to select your language next. And then select your location next, your keyboard next, and then your desktop that you want to use. I'll be selecting Plasma and then next. And then the packages that you want to install. And of course you can always add these later. And if you're not sure, you can just leave it as the default and then hit next. And then the bootloader that you want to use. And so this will allow me to select between Windows and Endeavor OS. So I'm going to be using Grub and then next. And here it asks you to select your storage device. So I'm selecting my NVMe drive. And then I'm going to be using the first option, install alongside. The installer will shrink a partition to make room for a Mercury Neo. And then in this video, I'm going to be encrypting my system. So Endeavor OS will be encrypted. And it's asking for a passphrase. So this would be used to decrypt my Endeavor OS installation. And here it's asking to select a partition to shrink. So I'll selecting my only partition, which is my D drive seen in Windows. And then we can customize how much space I can use for Endeavor OS. So I'll use about 100 gigs. And then the EFI system partition is using my SSD drive, the EFI system partition that Windows uses, but I want to keep everything on my NVMe drive. So I'm going to be selecting new, and this will create a new EFI system partition on my NVMe drive just for Endeavor OS. And then next. And then here it's asking you to put in your name, username, computer name, and password. And the options here, log in automatically without asking for a password. I'm going to be keeping the default with it unchecked. So I'll need my password to log in each time. And I'll use the same password for the admin account. Next. And this screen is an overview of what it's going to be doing. So the location that I've set, the keyboard, the bootloader, I'm using Grub, and the partitions. So it's going to be using my NVMe drive and it's going to be resizing the D drive that was seen in Windows, my NTFS partition, and I'll be creating an EFI system partition and another partition for Endeavor OS. And it will be encrypted using Lux. And then once ready, hit install. Install now. And then you can go to the bottom right and select on the icon and this would show the current progress. And then you can hit it again to go out of it. And now it's going to install Endeavor OS, so this will take a little bit of time. All right, the installation has completed. Now Endeavor OS will install the Grub bootloader, which I had selected. So when I restart, it should boot into it. But to confirm, I'll restart now, hit Done, and then it'll reboot, and I'll go into the BIOS. All right, in my boot order, I have first is the Windows Boot Manager. Second is UFI OS, and third is Endeavor OS. So I'll have to change that. So Endeavor OS is first, and then save changes and exit. All right, it started up, and it's asking me to enter the passphrase because I have encrypted Endeavor OS. And if you put in the wrong password, it will attempt to decrypt it, and then it'll fail. And then you'll get invalid passphrase. And now I'll enter in the correct passphrase. All right, the grub menu comes up and we see here Endeavor OS and then at the bottom it's found Windows, so that's good. And now I'm going to boot into Endeavor OS. Log in. All right, and I'm in Endeavor OS. And so I'm going to close the welcome screen. And now I'm going to reboot my computer to ensure I can get into Windows. Put in my passphrase, select Windows, all right, and I'm back in Windows, and I'm going to go into Disk Management, 
All right, and we see here on my NVMe drive that Endeavor OS has been installed and there are the two partitions for it. And now the installation media partition. This partition is no longer needed, so I'm gonna remove it. So right click. And if you notice, delete volume is grayed out. So I can't do it in here. I'll have to do it in disk part. So start disk part, run as administrator. Yes, list my disk and then select disk zero. List my partitions, select partition number four, and then delete partition override. And we see it has been removed. And then now I'm gonna extend my C drive. Next, next, finish. All right, and that's it. That's how you can install Endeavor OS on a separate disk without using a USB drive or DVD. I hope this video has been useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.